So guys, I'd like to briefly talk about the Electric Universe Conference of 2014. This is going to be held, as last year, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, at the Marriott Pyramid North, the 20th to the 24th of March. Now, I've got with me here, Wal Thornhill and Dave Talbot of the Thunderbolts Project. You guys want to say hi and give a quick introduction? Yes, sir, Ben. Hi to you and hi to Wall and uh, Billy. Yeah, uh, it's Wal Thornhill here down under in Australia and uh, we're pleased to be on the show. Ben. Absolutely. And uh, this year's show is called All About the Evidence. And presumably this would be all about the evidence for the electric universe and the other things that we've been observing. And I'd like to, I'd like you guys to briefly put this into perspective with, um, you know, where you guys have been with these conferences and maybe with some of your own studies as well. You bet, Jim. And uh, and I'll start. Uh, uh, all about evidence is such a meaningful uh, theme to us because we have observed for many years now, a continual stream of surprises within the space sciences in particular. And uh, it becomes then for us an opportunity to contrast the surprise with the predictive ability of the electric universe. All about evidence is uh, a natural follow-up to the theme that we used at our last conference, which was the tipping point because we were so confident that what is tipping uh, the scales is factual evidence. And it becomes necessary now to uh, demonstrate that the facts that are coming in from planetary science, from solar physics, coming in from remote space, they are consistently pointing to electromagnetic events that far need any ability of present theory to explain them. Now that's the core prediction of the electric universe. So this will be wide ranging. It will cover many fields of investigation. But what you will see at this conference is consistent pointers to the role of the electric force at all scales of observation. So that's my brief summary and I'll turn over the mic to Walthorn from Australia. Thanks Dave. Um, what I want to address in this particular meeting uh, is the avalanche of uh, evidence that's pouring in from the space race and also from experiments on Earth, including uh, particle accelerators and so on, uh, that is supportive of the electric universe. In fact, most of my time and effort is spent uh, just trying to uh, keep up with this avalanche of information. The other thing I want to do is to show how uh, the stories that we are told as kids and at school have such a tremendous grip on us and how difficult it is to let go of those stories, especially when there is also hero worship involved. Uh, you know, we have our heroes to science and to let go of the idea that they had the answers uh, is very difficult. And so the main thing I want to address is the uh, mission to Mars, the latest one, MAVEN, which sets off with a preconceived story of the history of Mars. And this is going to show how Mars lost its atmosphere but it's predicated on a, a purely mythical story of, um, of the history of Mars extending over four and a half billion years. So this is one of the aspects that I want to address is how do we get rid of these stories and look at things afresh. Well, let me just talk about the scholarship program for a, a moment then because for us, this is one of the most encouraging dimensions uh, we had 13 young people, students, uh, 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 ranging from like seventh grade up to uh, up to doctoral study, and uh, this was the most inspiring thing to see how young people come along and they get intrigued enough to apply for a scholarship, and they come into this event uh, 
with uh, already advanced interests, but then they are right in the midst of this electric universe community and they have an opportunity to meet people who've been around the community for many years. Both Wall and I uh, will be, of course, uh, sharing the stage at this conference along with a lot of other top speakers, including this guy named Ben Davison. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this, this actually is going to mean a lot to people who have followed your site, Ben. But the students that are coming in now, they are going to leave a mark uh, on the culture of science quicker, more quickly than people might realize. We absolutely uh, expect these uh, things not only to be inspired, but that the young people will help you know, carry that inspiration forward. Absolutely. That's exactly what I expect to happen. Definitely. Well, hey, I, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. We'll definitely be talking more as the conference draws near, especially about some of the special events and a little bit more about the speakers and some of their topics. But uh, I know everyone appreciates it. And uh, Dave Talbot, Walt Thornhill, I really appreciate you guys coming on today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Good morning, folks. News links first. GMOs will be a topic today for our Fly on the Wall audio cast for the website. In short, I'm not exactly their biggest fan. Folks, we have a first half of December map for North American temperatures. They watched a jet stream kink cause major variability within the continent. This same kind of kink has warmth in Western Europe while the east freezes all the way down to Africa. Cairo under snow for the first time in a hundred years. Israel as well. And Syria where the people are in the most need. I'd like to chime in on the argument between whether the green lightning is a positive bolt causing oxygen excitement much like the auroras, or if it's a camera spoof like some are suggesting. While those folks didn't look too hard, the bolts don't match shape. It's not a camera fake and not entirely unexpected given the ash cloud. Last news article today is on US tornadoes, allegedly getting stronger even though they took much of the year off. A solar wind telemetry showing two interplanetary shock waves, one right after yesterday's news and another a few hours ago. The first was high density, but the second wave is clearly stronger. KP index has begun to show geomagnetic instability. The sensitive metrics are under complete siege at the moment. Solar flaring is pequeño, however the central cut of active regions is developing magnetic complexity out of nowhere. It'll take some hours, but watch the morphology and intermingling of oppositely polarized sunspots as they shift around the disk today. Corona hole up north is going. Incomers are weak and even harder to see. When you use Stereo B to look just behind the visible limb from Earth's position, you see a tremendously active region. Just let her speak for herself. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.